Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for the start of another Alliance War season, season number 22. Now this one is pretty crazy. So our very first war we match against Kenobi, the best war alliance in the entire game. They are not only very skilled, but because of their skill they've placed in first many times, which has led them to get more resources than every other alliance, which in turn has made their defense stronger than every other alliance. They have so many rank three champions. I have eight fights total this war, one of them being the final boss, and only two of those fights were not rank three champions. So we're going to get started here. Um, I'm going to be boosting pretty big throughout this war because I'm trying my best. I'm going all out for this war uh, because, you know, the way I see it, if I want to have a deathless season, I can't be dying in the first war, first of all. But second of all, this is probably going to be the hardest war I have for the entire season. Um, I was given a really intimidating path. This is like when I saw these fights, I'm like, uh, okay, uh, I see a lot of potential deaths that could definitely occur. So uh, I'm going to try to do my best to uh, not die. So, you know, I mean, boosting for sure. So first right here, we have a rank three Arcus. Captain Marvel's a phenomenal counter for the hazardous shift node. You can see we get pushed into binary, extremely easy. Uh, yeah, that fight went great. Next up is Dragon Man, which is actually interesting. Kenobi, two of their deaths were to Dragon Man, um, which I found a little odd. Uh, so yeah, that just proves Dragon Man's a really good defender here. So they, they put him on hazardous shift. So I'm bringing in my boy, Human Torch. I fought a lot of Dragon Men before and I've never died to him. Um, so I'm not really too worried. Uh, it's pretty much in this fight though, I can only hit him well that, uh, basically how hazardous shift works is you can see there's a little, uh, fire icon on him now. It's a poison one. I can only hit him when that little fire incinerate, uh, icon is on or I'm going to get poisoned if I hit him right now. So I'm just chilling. Taking my time, uh, hit a little reparry. I'm actually getting willpower healing from his special one. Everything's going great. All I have to do to turn off his power gain is actually stun him. Uh, and there's nothing preventing me from stunning him on this node. It's totally fine to block the special one. You'll heal back from the ineptitude. Here I go for a, uh, a little special two, stun him, turn off the power gain. I hit him one time with the poison and you see it uh, applied to me, but I'm, my willpower is actually healing more. With that and the ineptitude, uh, if it was just the poison, I think it's a slightly negative, but it's still, if you only have one, it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, here I'm getting pushed back a little bit, but as you can see, this fight is going perfectly. You know, it's, I'm almost done, and right there I go for a little heavy attack, and I eat a special one to the face, take 29% of my health, but he's dead. Um, so that's just going to cost me a couple potions, got to try to get a little too fancy at the end. It's all good though. Heal team and a torch are like three six k potions, pretty ridiculous. But uh, this was one of the fights that I was extremely worried about. There's two fights in this war that I'm really worried about, uh, and this is definitely one of them. So this is a rank three Tigra. First of all, I just don't like fighting Tigra. Second of all, it's on the mix master node. Third of all, it's a rank three champion. It's oh man. But the the one silver lining is on this node. There's power focus one. So, you know, when she's above a bar of power, I don't really have to worry about pushing her to two bars, which I don't want to do. So with Human Torch, when I fight this note, what I like to do is go three hit combo, one, two, three, medium light, medium, and then go for a heavy attack. That way I'll never get mixed up with the mix master. Um, and yeah, I practiced some duels. I don't think I dueled at all last season. Uh, this season I dueled Tiger a few times just to make sure I can uh, get out of that special one. Uh, so far, so good. We're saving the pre-fight for uh, the Alliance War boss, so we're not able to use it here. I kind of wanted to use it here, but yeah, we're not able to. Go for a little special two here, does some great damage. She's incinerating down, and she drops. You know, I don't know what I was so worried about. If it's a mystic, Human Torch is gonna do his thing, and he's gonna melt. So now, that was the first part of the war. Now, the second part here, I completely reboost. And uh, so here's one of the first big mistakes, the second mistake of the war, the first one was with Dragon Man. The second one here is I put on a combat regeneration boost because I'm thinking in my head, okay, magic, you know, the limbo is probably going to be a little bit annoying. Let me save myself a potion and use a combat regen. And again here, I'm like, oh, heal block. You know, I was, the heal block node was staring me right in the face. It's one of those nodes that I just uh, I just instantly disregard. I'm like, okay, that node doesn't matter, and I focus on the other nodes. Um, so yeah, here you can see we lost a butt ton of health. We're a boosted rank three. We lost 30% of our health right there. More potions, but that's okay. As long as we don't die, it's fine. 
So next up here we have a Warlock, six star, rank three. Uh, we're gonna be going in here with Captain Marvel. You know, my plan was to use that regen boost to heal her up, but I was like, oh well, we can't. It's more heal blocks, so I'll just toss a potion into her. Um, you can see boosted health right there. We have 63,000, which is pretty nice. Um, but against Warlock here, we lost a lot of binary finishing off that uh, Arcus. So the plan is to just parry. Just parry, parry, parry. Slowly build up our binary, play it nice and slow. I'm not even gonna attack him. Just parry, hit a re-parry, get backed up against the wall, one more parry, boom. We're in binary now. Now we can go to work. Um, and you can see we're, we're hitting like an absolute truck. Go for this special two, does a ton of damage, and he's dead. So that fight went great. I uh, was only slightly worried about Warlock. I wasn't really too worried. Now, so this next fight here, you guys saw I have a thing there. So in total, I fought that before this war, I fought that thing two times there, and I died both times. Last time was last season, it was my first death. I went with Guillotine and it didn't work. The second time was in off season right here. So this is an off season war, uh, the very last war before the season started. So I make a critical error here. I accidentally pushed into 14 rock stacks. He throws a special two. Now he's at 15, and uh, as you can see, I am backed up. Uh, and at this point, I'm kind of screwed. Uh, I'm very screwed. This is my first time doing this fight with Void, only my second time ever doing this fight. And as you can see, I am just screwed. I cannot get in over a bar of power. Uh, he's at 15 rock stacks, and I'm just trapped in the corner. There is like pretty much nothing I can do at this point, but it was totally my fault for getting to this point. And as you can see, I died. So. That was the off season. So now this was the fight that I was most worried about for this war. It's a six heart rank three thing now. Um, but that off season war at fight, honestly, as you saw, it didn't go well, but I am thankful for it because it was tremendous practice and experience. And it taught me a very valuable lesson of what not to do in this fight. So, you know, having a little bit of practice with it, uh, that helped. So going in now, I know what not to do. Um, I'm going to start with a with a power start one boost. Uh, we also have some Mr. Fantastic buffs thanks to uh, my boy Enzo, which is really great. And so for this fight, what I'm going to do is eight the magic eight is the magical number, man. Push him to eight rock stacks, full combo, special one, give him the fifteen. Going to do that every single time, so I don't mess up and accidentally push him to fourteen. Here, I really need him to throw the special. I'm just like, please, 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 think, think, please, please, please. He finally throws it. As you can see, he's getting a little close to the special three. Um, I have a Petrify of my own now with Mr. Fantastic. The debuffs fell off, but that Petrify that they gave at the start was really helpful. Again, get him to eight rock stacks for the special one. We're chilling. We got two Petrifies at this point. Uh, we don't have to worry about the power gain that he's getting now. And uh, the fight is pretty much under control at this point, you know, as long as I can keep timing the rock stacks. What I, what actually I, I really did not want is more petrifies right now because I don't want to get into a situation where uh, he's just draining his own power and I'm not able to get rid of those rock stacks, which is what happened in that off-season war. So I was really hoping not to get uh, too many petrifies. Uh, here but now i'm at i'm at two petrifies they didn't apply first though so that was okay uh we got the 15 rocks like, like at this point it's fine um i can pretty much just chill you know kill himself he throws a special though and we're good we finish that fight with 96 percent health man that just goes to show how valuable some a little bit of practice can be man uh because if i didn't fight that thing in off season this fight probably would have went very different just dying there just it, it was it was instrumental uh, and going forward in this war. So I was really thankful for that off-season fight. Now, going to this next fight here, we have a uh, rank three Mojo. So we're gonna go with Human Torch once again. This is the Rage node, but we did the math. Even when I'm boosted, I won't be, uh, you can see Mojo has almost 300,000 health. My mediums won't be triggering the damage cap, but as soon as I click start fight, I was like, I have Dex on, that's not good, man. Normally I take Dex off for Mojos. So here I'm like, okay. Um, that's okay, you know, I boost, I got a ton of health to work with. I can take some degeneration damage, but my, my, my goal here is to bait a special one now without using dex. And here, I'm just, I'm an idiot. I accidentally throw a special two, and of course, both of the big hits crit, so we trigger rage. I'm like, oh, dude, what am I doing? I don't want to trigger rage, and I don't want to dex, so I need him to throw the special, man. I was not at all worried about this fight originally. I've never died to a mojo on this new map with Torch. Um... But uh, yeah, not going with Dex, 
or going in with Dex was uh, was not the right move. Uh, and you know, I don't want to push him to special two. So as you can see, I'm just trying to bait these specials without using Dex, man, and it's it's not that easy. I don't want to push him to the special two because I'll have to block it. Uh, here I accidentally triggered Dex. I just kind of had to. Um, so yeah, we get the degeneration on us. It's dealing 864 damage per tick, which is quite a bit. But as you can see, like one of it, we're still at 7%. We're okay. We get through the fight. So <laughs> a little sketchy, but you know, it's all good. Mojo's down. Now there's only one fight remaining for me for this war. And it's a rank three Sasquatch boss. So I fought Sasquatch one other time as a boss with my five star torch. It was a five star Sasquatch and we sold him. And it, it was great. It was really the sketchiest ending to a fight I've ever had, but it was we, we sold it. This time it's a rank three, but I'm also strapped with my rank three. So I'm not too worried. You can see Sasquatch here has over 600,000 health, which is pretty crazy. But uh, the, the silver lining, but also, I guess I should say the golden lining is his stars. Uh, he's not awakened. So that, that basically what that means, the only thing that really matters in this fight is when he goes into Wrath of Tanarak, which is really annoying. That's the, work, that's the part you really need to be careful for in this boss fight. Normally, when he's awakened, when he throws a special attack or a heavy attack, he goes passively unstoppable. But when he's unawakened, he's not going to do that. So that's actually really nice. So him being unawakened here makes this fight actually a lot easier for me. So that's nice. Of course, we applied the pre-fight ability here. This is the fight we've been saving it for all war. Uh, you know, just because this dude has so much health. Uh, hit a nice little intercept there. The start of this fight is going really good, man. It's going really good so far. Um, you can see we're triggering the uh, the stubborn. That's the really that's one of the most annoying things in this fight. Because Human Torch is not a, uh, a, a defensive champion, so he doesn't benefit from the stubborn defensive tactics. So yeah, I'm gonna whenever I get that off, you know, I'm just gonna have to parry, hit those re parries. Uh, but you know, it's so far so good. Uh, after Wrath, I like to throw a special three because usually I get a little bit backed up. Just reset the spacing. Also, just take a minute to breathe uh, while the special three animation is going on. Just okay, we're good, we're good. Uh, and yeah, everything is going really well so far in this fight. I like to push him to special twos because his special one um, is a little sketchy to punish. Uh, it's depending on, it really matters on the spacing, how far away you are from him. If you're too far, you're going to get parried or intercepted or he'll just block you. Uh, you have to be really close to be able to punish it. So I, I find it best to just never punish it uh, against an Alliance War boss, at least. In AQ, I go for it. But uh, yeah, playing as safe as possible here. Here he goes into Wrath again, but you can see like it's not really that big of a deal. He does have increased power gain rate, so we've got to be careful of that. Um, and another thing to be careful about is Mystic Dispersion. You know, we're placing, we're racing Kenobi here, so of course they're going to have the uh, the best of the best defensive masteries equipped to the best of the best defenders that they have placed. So, and I'm, I'm not sure what level of Mystic Dispersion he has. It might be five. You can see when my dex uh, wears off, you see he was that combo basically put him to a full bar of power dex did uh my dexterity buff gave him quite a bit that i'm not sure it's probably four or five uh it looks like a lot though from just one buff it's probably five actually uh so yeah definitely gotta be careful of that don't want to accidentally push him to that l3 but as you saw we did apply an invulnerability boost uh that's that's just to play it super safe and also just to give me peace of mind uh being strapped with an invulnerability boost just gives me more confidence honestly because i know if i mess up it's kind of got my back and uh, yeah, again, uh, if, if this is gonna be my hardest war of the season, so if I can get through without dying, the season's gonna be looking good. And uh, yeah, that's Sasquatch boss soloed. Rank three Sassy soloed, Kenobi, eight fights, six rank threes, mini bosses. <sighs> we didn't die, we can breathe, man, we can breathe. I, wow, what, what a war. I feel like I played really well. I made a couple of dumb mistakes, used up a lot of potions, for a couple of those dumb mistakes but really really happy with how the alliance war went man fortunately we we didn't win uh, as you can see here's the stats first war of the season we lost but uh it's a great start to the season for me personally uh so uh also we got a, a card we got a gold card here so we placed second overall in power rating uh for for this first war see my boy human torch there in the picture taters making these amazing cards so uh, yeah, as far as the stats go, uh, we are 8-0, 100% solar rate. 
Um, our fight difficulty rating is pretty high. Uh, power rating is 12 to start out with, which is pretty good for one war. And we're first in BG3 and second overall for Loki. But uh, yeah, we did unfortunately lose this war to Kenobi. Here's the, uh, the scores if you guys are interested. They died seven times, which is quite a bit for them. At one point it was like seven to nine. It's kind of close, but they didn't die anymore. Uh, we died a couple more times. So yeah, unfortunate. Uh, we still just can't can't quite beat these guys. Maybe one day, but uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm excited for this season, man. It couldn't have asked for a better start for me personally. Uh, it's getting a perfect season here is possible because like if if I cannot die against Kenobi, man, there's not going to be a whole lot else that could kill me. Not a whole lot of other good defenders. So as long as I don't play stupid, uh, we gotta take it one more at a time. Hopefully, we'll try for that day of the season. But that's going to do it for us. Nice more video, guys. If you enjoyed, drop a thumbs up. It uh, really, really helps me out. Get these videos out there more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more Alliance War uh, videos. Peace out, guys.